Hey there everybody, hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to whoever you're watching this from. And this is going to be a small talk on being kinder to yourself. Alright, so... <laughs> I know it can be difficult sometimes, I know, you know, being kind to yourself isn't always the easiest thing to do, especially since you yourself know what you've been through, you yourself know the mistakes you've done and the shortcomings that you've had and all of the heartbreak and regret that you've experienced throughout life. So, you know, it it makes sense if, you know, you were to say that I can't, it's unthinkable, <laughs> you know, given the things that you've done. Because I resonate with that too, a lot, because I do think that way and I do have that mindset certain time, certain times and uh, it can really be it can really be frustrating because there are sometimes when people say you know that uh, you know to be more kinder to myself they say to me love my love yourself more or you know care about yourself more and uh, i never really <laughs> i could never really do that i could never really muster up the courage to do that because of the mistakes I've done in the past and the opportunities I've let go by and the amount of regret I've just been harboring up inside for the longest time. And what I've realized is that uh, it's made me feel empty, you know, being in that certain situation where, you know, you just give yourself you know, punches after punches of, of, you know, pain and, you know, regret. And you're just stuck there feeling empty, unable to allow any sense of, you know, you know, love, happiness, you know, fulfillment, enjoyment in your life, you know. It can hinder you from living and it could honestly just make you an emotional and physical punching bag for your self, you know, your present self, depending on the past that you've had. And I wanted to touch on that because sometimes, you know, we have to be a little more considerate towards ourselves. We have to be a little more kinder to ourselves. And we need to understand that we are humans and, you know, this thing called life. We're living it for the first time, no matter what age we are, no matter what experiences we've had. We're experiencing it for the first time. And what I failed to realize back then is that I'm going to make mistakes. I'm going to I'm going to have regrets. I'm going to pass up on opportunities which are important. I'm going to misjudge what I really want out of life and go down certain paths that aren't really for me. I'm going to do all of those stuff. I've done it before. I'm going to be doing it again. <laughs> you know, there's no stopping that. And, uh, you know, I just, I just have to roll with the punches. I have to be more kinder to myself, like being, being more considerate, being more understanding that I am human. <laughs> you are human. We're not built with a road map on how to live life. There are certain extents that uh, there are certain media out there that put out perspectives on what a fruitful life is, but and what a good life could be, and how to live it the best way possible. But that wouldn't really resonate with everybody. It would resonate with a few people, but not everyone, because everyone has different perspectives, everyone have, has different longings, everyone has different ideals, and what they want out of life. So yeah, I mean, sometimes what you want even can be a mistake, sometimes it can't, sometimes it can, you know, it can be very beneficial, sometimes it cannot, you know, there are some things that, you know, are completely wrong are completely right and and sometimes you know there is a gray area where both of them mix the only thing that uh, and the only thing that 
can determine that is you, essentially. You know, I mean, there are laws and, you know, firm and sturdy notions that are firm and sturdy rules and uh, notions that define what are the concepts of right and wrong. But in some cases, you know, in terms of pursuing emotions, in terms of pursuing dreams, in terms of pursuing paths and certain, you know, ideals that you want to see and see come to a fruition, it's up for debate in terms of that towards yourself. What is the right path to pursue? What is the wrong path to pursue? What are the decisions that you have to make, the right ones, to, you know, lead you to the place where you want to go? And what are the wrong ones that can lead you astray? And um, once again, the only person who can answer that is you. Because it's your life. <laughs> you know yourself the best. No matter how many times people, people uh, you know, may tell you things that you didn't really know about yourself. You know yourself the best because you look at yourself in the mirror every day. You... You are the one, you are the one voice, one mind, one body, one soul that you live with every day. From when you were born until you leave this earth, (laughs) you know. And, uh, you know, there is, there's also like this saying that says that, you know, that pertains to that notion or to that aspect that I have mentioned, is that, you will spend the rest of your life in your own head. You know, make sure that voice in your head is a little bit more kinder, a little bit more practical and considerate towards yourself. Because it's a tough day, place to be in when you're just in your head and all there is is negativity and doubt and, you know, regret and these constant, constant, you know, insults and so on. When the world already has enough of that, without any sense of, you know, acknowledgement or, you know, praise towards the good, all the good that you've done. You know, it's all about finding that perfect balance because, you know, if you ultimately are super discouraging and mean to yourself all the time, then you might, you know, you might not want to pursue certain things. You might not want to try out anything anymore because you see yourself as a failure and vice versa if you be too boastful and too overconfident and cocky then you might never you know see the errors of your ways so it's all about finding that balance finding that balance of acknowledging that you did some good and you should pat yourself on the back for that but acknowledging also that you are human and you have more room to grow and more room to work on It's all about having a healthy mindset, a healthy balance between the two and finding that harmony. But all in all, if you make certain mistakes, if you make certain decisions, if you make certain, you know, errors in life, be it grandiose and extravagant failures or simple failures on a daily basis, just know that you are a human. I know that it will take some time to heal from it. I know that it will take some time to overcome it and accept it. But you will get there. When or how, I can't really say, but that's up to you. And knowing that whoever's watching this has the capability to grow, has the capability to persevere and, you know, put their mind to it and work on themselves and improve and become a better person overall i know you will make it out a better person than who you were before that you know you know it's all about just growing making sure you grow from it making sure you learn from it making sure you just become a better human being altogether you know There's no shame in, you know, being kind to yourself and understanding that you yourself does need a little bit more empathy sometimes when you're giving it to other people so willingly. Try to give that to yourself as well. 
Because I mean, when when everything hits the fence, when everything falls apart, and when nothing works out, at times, you know, you've only got yourself. So yeah, that's that's all for the talk, guys. You know, uh, once again, you're human. You're you're amazing in all the ways you are. You're flawed in all the ways you are, but that doesn't make it bad. That means that you have more room to grow, more room to prosper, more room to, you know, break all the beliefs and expectations you've put on yourself. And I know that you'll do great because you are you. <laughs> you know, and who who wouldn't want to see themselves reach their full potential and you know flourish right <laughs> so yeah that's all for the talk guys once again hope you have a great day ahead